Hello everyone, my name is Pamichael. It is said good things are worth waiting for, and I think you've waited long enough. This is Challenge the Build. Welcome back to Challenge to Build, everybody. My name is Paul Michael. This is the 1959 Chevy Viking uh, pickup truck project that we've been working on. I want to welcome you back after a long absence from the YouTube channel. As you can see, hopefully, um, I have made quite the investment in the shop. I have insulated and closed off this wall, painted this wall. I completely closed in and insulated the ceiling. Installed a whole bunch of new lights because the quality in which I try to build, whether it be the truck frame or even as simple as the videos that I produce, um, I try to level up on the quality. So hopefully you guys can see the difference in this new video. I also wanna say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, I think I've gained probably over 700 since the last video, which is like mind blowing. Um, that was another thing too, just the overall response from some of the videos, getting used to people commenting, talking to me through different social media platforms, uh, learning how to deal with answering everybody and just the attention, I guess. Um, normally I'm a pretty low key guy. Uh, so this is all new to me. I have had quite a mind shift in the YouTube game. Um, these are things that we'll probably talk about at the end of the episode. For right now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna get involved in the rear half of this frame. With having the truck sit idle for a while, um, I did do a little bit of work to it since the last video. In the last video, uh, you saw me going out to try to hunt a drive shaft. I did, however, get a drive shaft made for it. So that was quite an accomplishment there. Also, when that had happened, I had pulled the engine and transmission out. And then when I did that, I realized there was a big hole right in the center of the frame with no support laterally left to right. Um, and with the torque and the weight and just the overall size of the project kind of made like I guess you could say like an exoskeleton frame within the frame rails um, A lot of it is tacked up and welded There is a lot of welding left to do but I can't do it until we get this out And I don't want to take this out until we address the, the rear half of the frame And there are a few things back here that I just don't like uh, one of which is the air tank uh, within the testing of the airbags three gallons of air for the airbags just wasn't enough so i have purchased a new air tank we're going to kind of mirror this on this side also just this part of the framework and the inner web is just something that i don't like so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of revise this uh, put the shocks in change it up a little bit um, but that's enough of me telling you what we're going to do so stay tuned to the end of the video for the updates on the channel meanwhile i hope you guys enjoy the video please like subscribe and comment and let me know how I'm doing. So this way here, I can continue to improve on what I do. With that said, I'm gonna grab my grinder, grab a face shield. The tank is just sitting here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this right now. And we're gonna to get to work.
So after about a half hour's worth of cutting and grinding, as you can see, I got all the original steel cut out. I also cut out the original air tank mounts um, and then proceeded to grind all the original uh, weld and whatever leftover steel was um, still there on the frame rails. So now what's gonna happen is I'm going to install the two rear shocks. I'm going to clamp the air tanks to the frame rails temporarily to get an idea of where I want them. And then I'm also gonna install the drive shaft. So this way here, everything is essentially mocked up, um, which will allow me then to run the new steel from this point here, mid frame, uh, kind of like in and along this way. And then I'm gonna probably terminate it somewhere up here because this is a rear top shock mount. So I got the drive shaft behind me. I got the shocks and tanks over there. So let me get to work. Now that I have the air tanks, shocks, and drive shaft mocked up in the frame, there's only one thing left to do, and that's challenge the build.
see. Try, try again. Looks like I cut my piece way too short. Measure twice, cut once. Is that what it is? I guess that's what happens in custom fabrication, right? And I honestly don't even know if I like it like this. I think I might just run it underneath the frame here. This way that gives me more clearance for my airbag. I can slide my air, air tank, rather. I come down here. Slide my air tank back, flip it, mount it, and then tie it in underneath the frame rail and keep it level. Keep this level here, keep this level, and then tie it in up under the frame rail. Make it up as I go. And that didn't work. 